Reconnect. Okay, everybody. Uh, hopefully, I'm live now on my brand new spiffy iPhone 11. I got it on layaway. You think I'm gonna lay down? Four hundred dollars deposit for a Mac for the I iPhone Pro or Pro Max, not me. So uh, this is thirty dollars a month, but I would consider it money well spent if I can continue. To entertain you guys uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's what it is here in New York on a kind of overcast, cloudy day. And uh, But anyway, I hope this will put a smile on your face and that you're seeing me and hearing me just a little bit better than previously. Girl, and I couldn't get her off of my mind. I 
little girl and I could get her off of my mind. She passed me up saying she didn't like my kind. bit of Police Star Blues by the great Blind Arthur Blake. And uh, I want to get into some thanks here, which I neglected to do the last time. The last time being last Thursday. Saturday was a bust because my iPhone blew up and I spent about eight to ten hours on the phone with Apple tech support trying to locate the problem. And first off, it was like, well, you need a new operating system on your Mac to repair your iPhone, which was installed. That took a couple of hours. That didn't do the trick. Then they said, oh, it's a mechanical problem with the iPhone. So therefore, I had to junk the old one and uh, replace it. And I just got it this morning. So I spent all these hours trying to get that set up for you. But first off, Stanley Prover, Lisa Potaheel. Melissa Cox, Mimi Goldman, my first cousin Mimi, Bill Bamberger, and Richie Robinson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then from uh, the time last time, or that was the time before last time, Robert Jurgens, Laura Burroughs, Jonathan Luftig, also a multiple donator, and Richard Berger. Uh, my dear friends in New York, Richard and Roberta Berger. Thank you so much for your very generous donations to the cause. And, uh, okay, I'll just keep going now. Uh, I love uh, the films of Jacques Tati. I love uh, pretty much any film that he made. And I've done an album that incorporated some of the great themes. This is the theme from Monsieur Hulot's Holiday. We all could use a holiday about now. Here we go.
Okay, a little bit of a don alum, uh, you get the idea. I did a mini concert yesterday for the Eldridge Street Synagogue, which is a beautiful museum now, but it's uh, a very, very well-preserved synagogue on the Lower East Side here in Eldridge Street, where I'm pretty sure my grandfather on my mom's side must have visited when he moved uh, here from Poland at the turn of the century. I mean, it was constructed in the 19th century. But I digress. And I have some other music for you. All right, I'm gonna pull out my uh, not so sturdy, but trusty National Steel do in from 1921. Yes, this thing is, in fact, older than I am by a little bit. <laughs> and uh, at one point, I thought it was really necessary every time I traveled to tour in Europe to bring three guitars with me, my Stratocaster, my Gibson J45, which I've been playing. That one is from 1941, and this... National Steel Duolium, which uh, I acquired from Matt Yumanov Guitars, who've sadly gone out of business here in the West Village. When I brought this to the sessions for Ice Cream for Crow, Don Van Vliet, Captain Beefheart said, that's not a guitar, man, that's an instrument of death. So be it. But it still plays pretty good. So a few years ago, I got... Uh, a request from the then Czech ambassador to the United Nations, Martin Palouche, who's a great guy, to do arrangements of Czech classical music because my background on my dad's side is Czech Bohemian. Although, hey, maybe it was Hungarian Bohemian, I don't know. <laughs> Bohemia was part of Austro-Hungary and the village is not known to this day for a lot of reasons. It's still obscure, but... I'll take the Czech patrimony any day. And uh, I love to play there. So this is an arrangement of Dvorak's first string quartet, the first and second movement for my steel guitar here. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, movement one and two from Dvorak's String Quartet Number no. One, aka The American. And uh, okay, well, I got a few minutes left, and I'll do the '30s Chinese pop tune. Uh, this was not on the edge of heaven, though. Uh, it could be on the next one. It should be on the next one, which will feature Fefe Young and Jason Candler. And it's called A Pair of Flowers. switch to electric guitar and this is for all the Jeff Buckley freaks one of the unreleased songs that I composed with Jeff is a song called distortion distortion and uh, this appears on an album entitled the complete Jeff Buckley and Gary Lucas songbook on the Ezra disco label out of Italy it features the Nero Davide Combusti on vocals, and a great multi-instrumentalist producer, my friend Francesco Arpino. Check it out. This was voted best album of the year in classic rock Italia. So this is the instrumental. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, distortion. And uh, I hope that the concert was not too distorted and that the phone was working great and you could see and hear it better than before or else I'm gonna ask for my money back from my phone. All right, well, Gary Lucas here. Pleasure to play for you. And I'll see you this Thursday again at 3 p.m. Please, if you like what you hear, my PayPal address is gary at garylucas.com. And uh, all the best to you. Please be safe. Uh, please wear a mask. I beg you. Uh, there's so many people walking around out there in the West Village, uh, very entitled, selfish people without masks. I don't get it. But maybe they know something we don't know. Uh, but this can strike anybody, anywhere, at any time. Okay, on that note, I hope to see you on Thursday. Love to you guys.